In this video, we will start to play a little bit with Unreal Engine 5. Now, in the previous lesson, we saw how we can download it, install it, and how to navigate a sample scene, uh, which is, again, kind of a beginner uh, tutorial, beginner guide. Now, this is what I usually do in video courses. I start real simple. So for those of you who already know Unreal Engine, uh, like Unreal Engine 4 or the previous Unreal Engine, this is not going to be really interesting, so you can just skip and go to the following videos. Instead, for those of you who are new to Unreal Engine and they are absolute beginners, this is going to be extremely important because um, we're going to explain how everything basically starts with the Epic Games Launcher and how you can, uh, again, start to play with Unreal Engine uh, sample projects or games and uh, how you can find download and install sample uh, levels and uh, also props, assets, materials and so on. So let's just get started here and um, the, the first thing I suggest you is that you download the samples project. So right here this is the first page of the Epic Games Launcher so it's just a bunch of news that also are pretty interesting so you can get there and get more information about the project. Now, in the samples page, the second page, you will find the Lyra starter game and also City Sample. And if you go down here, you will find also other projects that are going to be extremely helpful if you are a beginner. And just as we did in other courses, we're always going to start with simple things and then we're going to move forward to more complex topics. So what you do here in the samples is you select a sample that you want to get. And you can see everything is free. And also check the supported versions. So this one here has a 5.0 uh, version right there. So then you click on create project. And the next thing, again, also here, check if you are downloading the correct version of this uh, particular sample. And then you can click here in browse and select the folder where you want to store the the project. Now usually I don't save this in my operative system because it's uh, usually it's a SSD so it's pretty small. So what I usually do is uh, create a folder in a bigger hard disk which can contain more than one project. So I can go here and just select this folder and then say create. Now when you do this, this is gonna start to download and you can check the size. This is 2.8 gigabyte and if you click here on download you will also see here the process so how much time you need to wait until this is completely downloaded now you can also click here and cancel this if you uh, make up your mind so let's go back and we're going to see some of, of these samples in the in the first videos of this course so you can for example use this one here this is really interesting we're going to see this later or uh, automotive here, configurator, broadcast sample, CD sample. Some of these are really big, so you need to wait a lot of time. And also Meta Humans, we saw, we made another video guide about this feature right here. So in this uh, video, I want to show you the Lyra starter game, which is um, a perfect example of the capabilities of Unreal Engine 5, and also how you can get started again. So uh, same thing, you click here, this is going to bring you to the page and you can see that I have already downloaded this so it's just telling me to create the project or if I need to remove it. Now let's go into the next page just to have a quick overview. So this is the marketplace and this is the place where you can get a lot of stuff. Now usually you get three um, different things from the marketplace. You can get a whole game or a, um, let's say structure video game or structure simulation with different levels that you can play and you can simulate or you can get props and 3d models or you can also get other more specific stuff now if you go here into browse you can see that you have 2d assets for 2d graphics you have animations characters blueprints to create like interactions and interactivity well this is kind of programming as well. You have architectural visualization. If you are an architect or a designer, you, you want to download stuff here. 
and a lot of things are free so if you go here in the filters you click on the free and you're gonna get some really nice free um, things so this one here for example it looks pretty good and it's already in chart I, I place uh, many things in in the chart so you click there and place it if you didn't already and you will find also learning games and uh, materials so packages of materials that you can apply to your objects and to your scene you will find music and Megascans also really interesting. These are really high realistic 3D models that you can download. And props, sound effects, textures, again for materials, visual effects, and other stuff that so you can figure out yourself. Now this is also well, this is for also for other versions of Unreal Engine. This one here is for Unreal Engine 5. You have also categories like Industries like architecture, automotive, fashion, film broadcast, and training and simulation. You can jump also directly to the free content, and you can see, for example, the Epic Games free content. Again, you will find the same projects around, and you have mega scans free for the month. These are like offers that, like monthly offer offers that you can download permanently free on sale. You can also submit your content. If you get into the uh, page here, the submission page, you can upload and you can become yourself a seller here. And you, if you're looking for something in particular, you can just type it here and search it. And if you are a beginner, you probably want to try things. So you should try with this free stuff. And this one here, it's also free. So you can click here and add it to the cart or to the chart. I, I don't know what. The correct pronunciation is and here I'm going to just you see here I've, I've selected like uh, some furniture some materials some mega scans so different things when I'm ready I'm gonna go to checkout and you can see here all the stuff that I have uh, placed in my order I say I agree and that's it and just now I just need to wait okay there you go so now I should probably see everything. Well, some some things are not directly downloaded. They like uh, go in a queue. But if you go then in the library, this is where you can see the engine version that you have. So if you click plus, you can install new versions or you can remove them or older version. Right here, you can see the projects. And uh, down here, you see all the stuff that you have downloaded or that you have placed in your cart ready to download. So sometimes you just like this virtual studio, you can see here is downloading. So if I want to create a new project, if I want to use a um, sample game or a sample level, I need to create a project. For example, here for the content examples, I need to create the project. And for the Lyra game, there it is. I need to create a project. So this is going to start to download it. And when it's finished like this, it's going to be ready to be used and to actually uh, create a project. Now for the props like mega scans or materials right here, you just need to add it to the project once the project is ready. So, and then you also have like plugins and add-ons, but that's another stuff there. But usually this is what you find here in the marketplace. So if you're looking for something, just type there, like um, let's say Quixel, and you will find like assets or plugins or entire scenes, and then you can place it in the library and then you can use them. Now, uh, for example, you have also this um, Marmoset toolback scene importer. So this is, uh, an example of a plugin that you can ins get inside the engine. Okay, so once you're ready and you created your project in the folder, you can open it up. So you can see here, I've already created one Lyra test. So I just double click here from the launcher and this is gonna open it up. Now the last panel here is for Twinmotion, which is kind of a smaller version of Unreal Engine with uh, a lot less features. So you don't, well, at the moment you cannot create like interaction or 
uh, game-like uh, systems in Twin Motion. This is just for visualization to create renderings and uh, animations, for example, for architecture. Uh, it's really, really easy. It's well, uh, way more easier to use than Unreal Engine and to understand. It's really user friendly, and within like one week, you you will learn how to work with Twin Twin Motion if you are interested. Now, another thing I want to show you, just to understand how everything works then in your computer, when you create a project, this is gonna be placed in a folder. So you can see here, this is the one that I have created. I've just changed the name, so you can do that as well. And if I double click, you can see here the Unreal Engine project file. So if I double click also on that, it's going to open up the project or the game or the simulation or whatever it is. And then we have like a bunch of folders and subfolders where basically everything about the the game is stored. So you can see here plugins, you can see here the content and in the content for example you have the audio and if you you can see here these are all the assets basically that you will get in the project. There you go. So just if you are in, curious you can go there and check it. So you can use the Epic Games Launcher to launch the game. You can double click here in the folder and then you have a third option. And uh, here we are inside the Unreal Engine editor. So the third option is go into file. And this is where we can create a new level, which means a new level inside this project. Or I can open level inside this same project. Or I can open a single asset, like a prop. Or if I go down, you can see here I have projects. So if I want to open the project, I can do it also from here. This is the third option. So you have these three options. You either open up the editor and from here you can open up projects or you can double click on in the folder or you can launch it from the launcher. Now don't um, mistake the level with the project. So levels are inside the project, are like different parts of the project basically. Okay, and we can see also here some recent projects. And this is basically the first drop on the menu that we find, we can save we can export and import. Now, if we want to see the game, press play there and wait for the simulation to start. And you can see now I have a stop sign instead of the green play sign or icon. So I can move now, just as we learned to do in the previous video, so WASD to move around and I can change my uh, view. So I can move the mouse simply or I can, well, just move around and move my mouse both. Now it's, a, it's different from the editor. In the editor we need to, like, mm, we have also the zoom and the pan, but here we can just move around. Now we have these different ways we can check the different parts. So again, this is kind of learning how we can play with, the, with these games and with Unreal Engine. So if I pass through here, I, ch I can just navigate into this kind of uh, really simple world. And if I go back here, there you go. Now those are like 2D graphics right there. And um, if I go here to front end, there you go, it's gonna like open up something. So we just need to wait now. Okay, so you can see this is kind of the welcome screen of the game, so I can also go into options and change some options for the gameplay, the video, the audio. So this is what happens usually in standard video games. If I press ESC, I can quit and exit the game. This is gonna bring me back to that uh, world. Ooh, there it is. Well, I was pretty far here. So I need to get back in or just press play. That's gonna make you start at the same place. So you can do from here, you can check the Explorer, which is probably another part of this uh, Lyra experience. So let's just wait for a couple of seconds. And there you go. Well, yeah, this is, you can see there the character moving around. 
and I don't know, uh, maybe I can like, push some boxes here or no? No. Well, again, these are just, you know, different ways to show you how everything goes. I can also press stop the, the game and that's it. So this is the back end, this is the editor. So here I can move with my scroll wheel and move with the pan, orbit around, move around. And when I need to run the simulation itself, which is a combination of a 3D world and uh, programming blueprints, uh, animations, interactions, particles, and a lot of other stuff. And just, you know, play around here. Okay, this, is, was, this was the default experience pretty quick and uh, let's get really into the game so I'm gonna go for example here if you really want to play with the game and if you want to appreciate the new ren render engine or the new engine the new Unreal Engine just jump through there and by playing you're just starting to learn because you can check the materials the reflections of the materials you can check the props and the objects that you find in the level. So just play, have fun, and get an idea of how everything works. This is what our, we are doing in this video. We're just having fun and trying to understand how everything works. So right now I am inside the game and I can start to play. So I can now, while I'm playing, I can check, for example, the materials here and the textures the reflections, the various effects, and this works as um, well identical to any other video game that you could play on your computer. So um, the quality of the video game depends also on the power of your machine. So this is, um, well, you know, I think it's uh, the best thing in the world to play and at the same time get an idea and try to understand how the everything looks. So I'm gonna press ask and uh, stop. And there we go. Now I'm back in this initial state, this initial uh, screen or level. Now just to show you real quick how everything then is gonna be in the back end. So if I click here, in the content browser, you can see that I have the same folders that I saw before in the uh, well in the Windows folder. But right now I can see them a little bit better because I can see I can figure out which which is which. So for example, this is a a level right here, and if we search here in the content, we'll find audio characters and effects, props, environments, and things like that. Now what I want to say is that it's going to be a long way until you will uh, be able to create your own video game from scratch from A to Z. Well, that's nearly impossible actually. You need kind of a team to work with because it's a really complex work. But what you can do is um, kind of get these sample files and customize them and try to get there little by little. But the, the really important thing is that you can understand actually how everything works and if you want, for example, you can create your levels, you can create your game in a kind of a, uh, let's say, a 3D um, environment and the characters and the props and everything like that. But in order to make everything work, you probably need some programming skills uh, or you can just ask for help or you know, you can organize a team, things like that. So what we will see in this video course is how you can really create a level to do like level design and to insert props and uh, create also your own props and uh, how you can use the lighting system, or the how you can set up materials, customize materials and things like that until we reach a certain level. But uh, again, you will need, just to make things clear, you, you will need a lot of time and a lot of experience and also a lot of uh, friends that can help you to create an entire game like this. So this is just 
uh, again, kind of an introduction. We're going to move forward in the next videos and we're going to get more and more into deep into the Unreal Engine 5. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe or you can join the channel as a supporter and check our other video courses and video guides about 3D modeling and uh, level design, materials, uh, creation and things like that. So again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.